Hi, welcome back. Tia Kemp is making headlines after a heated incident at the hospital where her son was reportedly recovering from a drive-by shooting in Miami. A viral video shows Tia being forcibly removed from what appears to be an emergency room while yelling, you disrespectful bitches, you're mad from 30 years ago, get over it, bitches, fat fucker. It seems she was directing her anger at Big D, her child's father, who reportedly had her removed from the hospital. This occurred after Kemp's son was allegedly shot. According to Ace Showbiz on October 14th, Kemp's son was injured in a drive-by shooting in Miami on Friday, October 11th. Once the video of Tia being forced out of the hospital circulated online, people shared their reactions on X and in the comments section of my Mix Tapez's post. Most users expressed support for Tia and criticized the system for not allowing her to see her injured son. That's insane. She should have access to her child, one user commented. Other users echoed similar sentiments. Some sympathized with Tia, believing she shouldn't have been removed, while others blamed Rick Ross, her other child's father, for the situation. Why would you remove her from her son, then say she's the problem? That's hey son, and he's been shot. You damn right him to act a fool, another user said, sympathizing with her. Damn drama going down. Tia Kemp kicked out the hospital by her other baby daddy while trying to see their son, asked another netizen. Damn, she trying to see her son. Rick Ross a mess, but I don't think he set it up like people saying, one user alleged. Others shared similar views, calling the situation sad and scary. Very sad, commented one user. This is scary, another said. That mugshot be wild as hell, wrote another user. Recently, reports suggest that after Tia Kemp's son was injured in the Miami drive-by shooting, Rick Ross's ex-girlfriend, Stoney Jones, verbally attacked Kemp on her Instagram story on October 12th. In other news, Tia Kemp, the ex-girlfriend of rapper Rick Ross, and mother of his son joined Tasha Kay for an explosive interview that's already causing a stir online. In the preview, Kemp dropped shocking allegations, not only about Ross' treatment of her, but also about his supposed plans involving hip hop icon, Sean Diddy Combs. According to Kemp, Ross expressed a desire for Diddy to end up behind bars so he could seize his property. The interview also talks about the former couple's legal and co-parenting battles, providing a rare glimpse into Kemp's turbulent experiences. Kemp began by reflecting on how Rick Ross changed after achieving success, suggesting that wealth and fame inflated his ego. We all know money changes people, she remarked. Kemp explained that Ross's access to wealth gave him opportunities he'd never had before, which she claims altered his personality. According to Kemp, Ross's ego became so inflated that he began to view himself as untouchable, making decisions that she believes were both reckless and harmful. One of the most shocking claims Kemp made was about Ross's alleged desire to see Diddy incarcerated. Kemp recounted that Ross once boasted about wanting Diddy locked up so he could swoop in and buy his mansion. He was saying, I can't wait till they lock him up so I can buy his house, Kemp revealed, describing a ruthless side to Ross that few get to see. Kemp further alleged that Ross spoke about Diddy with disdain, sharing his intentions with her as if it were all part of a master plan. While it's unclear whether Ross's comments were serious or simply braggadocio, Kemp insisted that he's not above making moves to benefit himself at the expense of others. This revelation adds a new layer to the long-standing rumors and speculation surrounding Ross and his relationships within the hip-hop community. Tasha Kay also pressed Kemp on rumors of an affair between Rick Ross and Keisha Kawar, the wife of rapper Gucci Mena. Kemp did not shy away from confirming that she witnessed interactions between Ross and Kawar that raised her suspicions. She recalled a time when Kawar, known for her bold style and blue lipstick, visited Ross's home while Gucci Mane was serving time. 
I saw it with my own eyes, Kemp claimed, suggesting that there may have been more to their relationship than what was publicly known. The alleged affair is yet another example of the complicated web of relationships in Ross's life, painting a picture of a man who, according to Kemp, has always been willing to blur lines when it comes to loyalty and personal gain. Kemp also discussed her own legal troubles, revealing that she once faced three felony charges in Broward County, which could have resulted in a two-year prison sentence. She said her legal team, funded by a close friend, spent over $112,000 to fight the charges. After a seven-day trial, she was acquitted, but the experience left a lasting impact on her relationship with Ross. According to Kemp, Ross's family even attended her trial in support of the prosecution. Ross sent his mom and sister to my trial, she claimed, suggesting that they hoped she would be convicted. Following the trial, Kemp's attorney advised her to seek child support from Ross, which she did. She believes that without a legal arrangement, Ross and his family would not have provided sufficient support for their son. Kemp also shared that Ross's mother mistakenly believed she had legal rights over her grandson. Grandmothers don't have rights in the state of Florida, Kemp pointed out, explaining that Ross's family seemed to misunderstand the laws regarding custody and visitation. In a heartfelt moment, Kemp offered advice to other women dealing with similar issues, particularly those with high-profile partners. She encouraged them to protect themselves legally and emotionally, warning that fame and fortune can often lead to complications and unexpected betrayals. If I went through it, what makes you think you won't? She said, emphasizing the importance of preparedness and resilience. Tia Kemp's interview preview with Tasha Kay sheds light on a darker side of Rick Ross that few have heard about. From his alleged plot against Diddy to his questionable loyalty during Kemp's legal battles, the accusations Kemp makes are sure to spark conversation and controversy. The full interview promises to reveal even more details about her past with Ross and the co-parenting challenges they faced. Tia Kemp and Rick Ross have had a long history of public disputes that have often played out on social media and in the news. Their relationship dates back to when they were involved romantically and share a son, William Roberts III. Over the years, the tension between them has involved issues around co-parenting, financial support, and public accusations, leading to a significant amount of drama. The core of the tension between Tia Kemp and Rick Ross revolves around their co-parenting relationship and financial support for their son. Tia Kemp has been vocal about her frustrations with Ross, accusing him of not being involved in their son's life and failing to provide adequate financial support. She has frequently taken to social media to air her grievances, claiming that Ross neglects his responsibilities as a father. In several public statements, Kemp accused Ross of being a deadbeat dad who only pretends to care for his children when it suits his public image. According to Kemp, Despite his success and wealth, Rick Ross was not meeting his obligations as a father, which has been a significant source of conflict between them. One of the most notorious aspects of their feud has been the explosive exchanges on social media. Tia Kemp has used platforms like Instagram to directly call out Rick Ross, often posting screenshots of their conversations and making pointed remarks about his lack of involvement in their son's life. In some instances, she has even threatened legal action, stating that she would take Ross to court if he continued to neglect his parental duties. Rick Ross, on the other hand, has mostly responded to these accusations indirectly, sometimes dismissing them or addressing them through cryptic posts or interviews. In one notable incident, Ross seemingly mocked Kemp's accusations by flaunting his wealth on social media, suggesting that her claims were an attempt to get more money from him. Their conflict also spilled into the legal arena. Tia Kemp has reportedly taken Rick Ross to court on multiple occasions to address issues regarding child support and visitation rights. She has argued that Ross's financial contributions were insufficient, considering his substantial earnings from his music career, business ventures, and ownership of Wingstop franchises. Kemp has claimed that the legal system has often been the only way to hold Ross accountable, as he allegedly ignores his responsibilities otherwise. These court battles have further fueled the animosity between them, 
As Kemp continues to accuse Ross of being more focused on his public persona than on fulfilling his duties as a father. Rick Ross has largely remained private about his side of the story when it comes to his relationship with Tia Kemp and their son. However, in interviews and through his music, he has hinted at his side of the narrative. Ross has occasionally suggested that Kemp's public outbursts are motivated by jealousy or a desire for attention. He has implied that the drama is more about Kemp's bitterness over their past relationship than it is about their son's well-being. In one of his interviews, Ross stated that he takes care of his responsibilities and that his focus is on ensuring his children are well provided for without getting involved in public spats. Despite his attempts to downplay the feud, the ongoing accusations from Kemp have kept the situation in the public eye. In recent years, there have been sporadic flare-ups of their drama, often triggered by Tia Kemp's comments or posts on social media, she has continued to voice her frustrations, accusing Rick Ross of failing to be present for their son's important life moments. Despite these accusations, Ross has often chosen not to engage directly, maintaining a distance from the public conflict. Kemp has also expanded her public criticism to include other aspects of Ross's life and career, sometimes making allegations about his personal behavior and relationships. These comments have added another layer to their feud, further complicating their co-parenting dynamic. The most unfortunate aspect of the Rick Ross and Tia Kemp drama is the impact it may have on their son, William Roberts III. Growing up in the middle of such a public feud can be challenging for a child, especially when both parents have such contrasting narratives about each other. Kemp has expressed her concern over the lack of a consistent father figure in her son's life, while... Ross's silence on the matter leaves room for speculation about his involvement. While it's unclear how much of this dispute affects their son directly, the public nature of the conflict undoubtedly adds a layer of complexity to their family dynamic. Fans and media often speculate about the true extent of Rick Ross's relationship with his son and whether the public drama accurately reflects their private interactions the ongoing drama between Tia Kemp and Rick Ross is a story of unresolved conflicts centered around issues of co-parenting, financial support, and personal grievances. While Kemp continues to use social media as a platform to voice her frustrations and hold Ross accountable, the rapper seems to prefer handling the matter privately, focusing on his career and other ventures. The tension between them highlights the difficulties that can arise in co-parenting situations, especially when they are compounded by fame, public perception, and lingering personal disputes. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and share my videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest update and bell button for notification.